Hello again and welcome back to Financial Aid 101. So on today's Financial Aid episode, we will be discussing financial aid for daycare. That's right. Some colleges, some universities do offer free money to help you pay for daycare. So we will be discussing some of the requirements, some of the um, information that may be requested from you on the application so that you are ready um, to apply for this benefit if it's something that you need in order to be successful in school. And if it's your first time to my channel, I am a previous financial aid specialist who has processed thousands of apps for applications and financial aid packages, as well as child care grant applications, such as the one that we're going to be discussing on today's video. So if these topics interest you, please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications for future video updates. So let's get started. So a lot of colleges and universities have pools of money set aside, whether they are from federally or state funded programs or from generous donors that is specifically set aside to help students pay for daycare expenses. In the application process, they'll ask you things like, um, what is the relationship of the child to you? How old are they? What is the name of the daycare facility that they're enrolled in? Why is it that you cannot meet this expense at this moment? Um, so this is some of the questions that you see in a typical application to apply for financial aid to pay for daycare expenses. Additionally, they may ask you information about your financials. They may want to see your FAFSA. Most likely they'll actually refer to your FAFSA for a lot of these financial questions. But in addition to that, um, one of the requirements typically is that the child is in a state um, licensed daycare facility. That is typically one of the requirements, although there may be some flexibility with that. Um, and then typically, of course, uh, you have to be a student of that college or university, and uh, you have to be enrolled in a certain number of credits. Once your application is approved, they'll verify your enrollment level at the school. So they'll see if you are taking uh, 12 credits, if you're full time, if you're three quarter time or half time or less than half time. And typically they'll adjust the award based on your enrollment level. Now, again, there may be some flexibility with your school in order to uh, meet this requirement or not. So that's something you would have to double check with your financial aid office. But typically in order to get the full amount of the financial aid for daycare, you do have to be a full-time student, AKA taking 12 credits or 12 units that are required for your program of study. Now, typically if you're not a full-time student, but you're taking less than 12 credits, which is the minimum requirement to be full-time, they may adjust your childcare financial award uh, based on your enrollment level. So I'll give you an example. If the financial aid dollar amount for helping pay for daycare is $1,500, that means that in order for you to get the $1,500, you have to be taking a minimum 12 credits or AKA you have to be a full-time student in order to achieve the maximum amount. Now, let's say that you're taking less than 12 credits and let's say that your school considers uh, three quarter time to be anywhere from nine to 11 credits. If you are less than ha a full time, but you're taking nine to 11 credits, then you would be considered a three quarter time student. That means that you would get 75% of the award. So again, 1500 times 0.75 would be $1,125. So these numbers are just examples. Uh, enrollment levels may be interpreted differently via um, school to school. So these are just some examples of how enrollment levels um, may be interpreted based on the number of credits that you're taking, um, which may affect the dollar amount that you can get in financial aid to pay for childcare. They'll typically ask you for invoices or receipts in order to demonstrate how much you are being charged for daycare for your child. And they'll um, keep copies of these receipts in your file and then they'll send payment either directly or they'll give you a check or they'll give you a refund um, via your typical way of receiving your refund, like maybe it's a debit card or maybe it's in your checking account, but they'll want to verify invoices and they'll make sure that the invoice state matches the actual school term that you are applying for this benefit. There are requirements that you have to abide by in order to maintain this benefit. Now, typically, 
um, the college will require that you maintain satisfactory academic progress requirements. Now, these are standards set forth by Department of Education, enforced by your school and your, by your financial aid office. Now, each school can interpret satisfactory academic progress requirements in slightly different ways, but typically it means that you're maintaining a minimum 2.0 grade point average or higher in all of your classes, um, cumulative and also um, in your individual classes, and that you're also completing the classes that you're signing up for and that you're having good attendance uh, and completing all the credits that you're signing up for. This is a typical standard for not only FAFSA, but also for additional financial aid, such as financial aid to pay for daycare. Additionally, most likely you'll be required to submit regular statements um, for the period of time um, that you are applying for childcare grant. So typically if school is not in session, you can't get childcare money from your school when school is not in session. So that's why they wanna see those invoices to make sure the dates are within school terms that you will be attending classes. And additionally, you wanna make sure to apply for additional financial aid for daycare um, for every school year that you're planning to attend school. So it's not, typically it's not just a one application for the two or four years that you'll be attending school. Typically it's something you have to renew. Uh, most schools re uh, ask you to renew it every school year. I don't know if other schools may want you to renew it more often than that, or maybe they want you to renew it if you've had a break within the school year that maybe you are not attending school, uh, but make sure that you're renewing this financial aid for daycare application every school year that you plan to attend school and that you plan to put your child in daycare. So that's it on today's video on additional financial aid to pay for daycare. If you found this video helpful and if you like topics such as applying for FAFSA and other types of financial aid, then please hit that subscribe button and turn in your notifications for future video updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.